Welcome to Gaia Yoga, my friends. Today I offer you a quick hips flexibility routine. We'll be warming up and stretching all the muscles around our hip joint, the front of the hips, inner thigh, quads, outer hips, glutes, and some hamstrings. So. Um, the first position would be from our malasana, so find a wide-legged squat and from directing the knees in the direction of the toes, try to sink as low as possible. Maybe it's this high, uh, that's fine, just little by little you can try moving from side to side and just sink all the way down. Letting your inner thighs relax, your pelvic floor relax, your glutes are stretching here. Breathe. And you can help yourself with the elbows. Lifting uh, through the heart, widening the collarbones, gazing right in front of you. And while you're here, you can move your head in a circular motion. And as you send the head back, focus not on dropping your head all the way back and compressing the back of your neck. Focus on reaching the chin up, stretch the front. And then twist the left ear down and right. And maybe changing the direction. And relaxing your inner thigh. Inhale, uh, lower the palms to the floor, lift through the heart. And exhale, straighten the legs, lift the hips up. Inhale, lift through the heart, squat. Exhale, straighten, inhale. Exhale down, inhale, squat, exhale, extend, inhale, squat, exhale, extend, inhale, squat, exhale, extend, inhale, squat, exhale, extend, extend, warming up the legs. You can widen the stance, keeping your feet parallel and slightly pigeon toe the feet. Pressing your right palm into the mat, start rotating the chest to the right without locking the left elbow, trying to stack the shoulders and send your right arm up towards the ceiling. And you can bend your left elbow and send the palm towards the inner left thigh. And maybe you can even walk your left palm to grab your right ankle and bring your belly towards your right thigh, keeping your quadriceps engaged, both legs straight. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. Release the arm and switch. Bring your right palm to the floor or the block or maybe just the fingertips. And begin opening the chest, trying to stack the shoulders and try not to push the hips too far back. Focus on bringing the weight to the balls of the feet or spread, spread the weight evenly between the balls, the balls and the heel. And find the twist. You can bend your left elbow and send your palm towards the inner right thigh. And maybe you can start working your right palm towards the left foot, grabbing the ankle, using the bicep, bending the elbow, and maybe reaching little by little towards the um, left thigh. Maybe the opposite side would feel a little different. Observe the sensations and shift the weight slightly forward, lift the kneecaps up. Inhale and exhale, slowly let go of the bind, release. And gaze to the front, bend your right knee, shift the weight towards the right leg, and switch. You can have the palms on top of the thighs, shift from side to side, and use the core strength, the glutes, the thigh strength. Breathe, use the strength within you to lift up and switch. And now stay low and move from side to side, working your inner thighs. Breathe. Lower the palms to the floor and bring your left knee down. So you're transitioning to your gate pose. Your left hip is stacked above, above the left knee, keeping your hips squared. Press to the outer edge of your right foot into the mat. Inhale, lift your left arm up, 
reach it up towards the ceiling, reach, 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 and press the lower left leg into the mat. Try to elongate and breathe into the left side of the body. Gaze up towards the ceiling. And now start leaning towards the right, but focus on volume. Breathe into the side ribs, the front ribs, the back ribs. Inhale and exhale, start reaching even more, 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 and you would have to rotate the, shift the hips back, kind of circling them, and you're lifting your right toes off the mat, uh, heel on the mat, and shift the hips back with your left heel to the outside of the thigh, and legs wide open. Inhale, lift through the heart, and uh, lower over your right thigh. And maybe you're not able to fold all the way down like me, right away, that's completely fine. Wherever you are, little by little, start hinging from your hips, shifting your sit bones back, the tailbone back, and your front hip bones forward, closing the gap between your belly and your thigh, and flexing the foot. Using the belt if needed, or just have the palms on top of your shin. And breathe into your back body, inhale, create volume. Exhale, try to relax. And as you pause, maybe you can go a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, relax. As you pause, check, maybe there is a little more space. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you can go all the way down. And from here, slowly trying to stay as low as possible towards the floor, to the center between the legs. And now observe where you feel the stretch. Maybe you already feel something on the outer left hip. Breathe, observe the sensations. Your inner thighs, your right hamstring, flex your right foot. And if the elbows are not touching the floor, that's completely fine. Just have your arms extended and lift through the heart. Maybe lift the base of the wrists. And little by little, you are shifting rotating the hips forward, sending the tailbone back. Little by little, your inner thigh is opening, breathe. Expanding everything from the inside and out, and exhale, you're relaxing. And if there is a little space, you can go down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Maybe you can try to play with shifting the torso from side to side, and it gives me a a little bit more of sensations and it normally helps me get a little lower to the floor and you can walk the torso all the way towards the left thigh just be careful with the knee make sure there is no pain in the knee your toes are pointed towards the back of the room the left foot is not flexed inhale slowly uh, lift the torso up and from here, lift the right arm up and stretch towards the left. And again, focus on creating volume, elongating from the inside and out, spreading. Imagine you're, you're getting unglued from the inside out. Find the space between the ribs. The lower back is getting unglued from the hip bones. You can let the belly expand and You're beginning to take more space in the room. Inhale, rise back up and switch and lean to the right. And try to keep your left sit bone on the mat. It's kind of hard, but you can do it. Inhale, slowly rise up. From here, you can um, lean more to the right glute and uh, free your left leg. Stretch the front of the hip and carefully uncross. And um, you can lower your left knee down. And from here, you just cross your right leg over the left and descend both sit bones down to the floor. We are doing a little twist here, but you, as you squeeze your thigh in towards the ribs and the chest, you are getting a nice outer right hip uh, stretch. Try to elongate the spine, keep both sit bones on the mat, take your time, breathe. 
start to breathe, send the air into those areas, exhale, relax, and in, when you do the pause, you do a little twist. Breathe. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. Return your torso to face the front. And now bring your right foot to the crease of your left elbow and hug your right knee and rock your baby. Again, if you're not able to, do, to go into a stretch as deep as I am, that's completely fine. This is what you have to do to get deeper into your stretches. Breathe. And now uh, release the hold on the foot and you can bring the foot towards the forehead but try to stay lifted through the heart and send your right knee to the back of the room and out and release the foot and now place the foot um, to the outside of your thigh one more time and just lean forward taking the knees one on top of the other and descend the hips to the floor. Your Gamukhasana position and breathe and know it may be sometimes really really tough especially if you do running or biking cycling also i think it depends on how you position the feet when you walk i walk like this so i think that's why this is really really tight for me inhale if you wish you can exhale through your mouth you can do a little twist here find some movement especially if you feel like really really mm, if you feel a lot of sensations it can be hard especially for your mind to stay in, in one place and you want to get out so instead of getting out just try to do little moves you can try to lower your right mm, palm and maybe elbow down towards the floor and lift your left arm up and again create volume and lean to the floor Inhale, rise up and switch sides. And slowly rise up. And now lean forward. And you can do big, big, big circles with the hips before getting out of this. And now you step your foot to the floor and return your hips back and bring your front shin parallel to the front of the mat and your left shin on top of the right. We are trying our double pigeon and again depends on the flexibility for me it's the worst that can ever happen to me. I will prefer like a hundred million of chaturanga push-ups than this <laughs> because it's the hardest thing for me. So ideally you want to have your feet flexed to protect the knees from overstretching and maybe elevating the hips. I don't have my blocks, my kids are chewing on them or like messing up with them, so I hide them. So if you have the blocks, grab the blocks and again start focusing on shifting your pelvis forward and your sit bones and um, tailbone back, pubic bone is leaning down to the floor. And maybe do a little massage. And maybe instead of folding right away, you can try to move from side to side. Maybe little circles, like half circles forward and back. And it will help you to go a little and little by little down, down, down. And when you're ready, carefully begin unfolding and releasing your legs. 
and you can move the knees in a like windshield wipers move be really really careful with the knees from here just uh, open your knees wide and find your frog for a little bit 90 degree angle flex the feet and especially if you're on a sliding floor slippery floor be careful use the arms to control the stretch if your mat is non-slip you would have to like really move the knees away little by little and maybe you lower down to your elbows and again you can do half circles as you exhale and relax and maybe check if you can go a little lower you can do little pulses just micro pulses be careful with the bone bone compression if it doesn't feel right don't do it and then slowly extend the arms and engage the pelvic floor and the inner thighs to lift up and now bring your right knee in right under the right hip and extend your left leg out to the side place the foot on the mat and press through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat inhale lift your right arm up and begin pressing your lower leg into the mat to stretch in the front of your leg and hip and begin finding volume in your side body. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Expand the ribs and the belly. As you inhale, maybe especially at the front or the hip or this bony area, feel it get unglued. Inhale, slowly start shifting the hips back and reaching your right palm towards the left foot. And then you can carefully lift the left toes and descend the hips down. Widen the position, widen the angle between the inner thighs. Your right knee is bent and if the foot is pointed towards the back of the room, be careful with the knee. Flex your left toes and fold over your left thigh. Again, taking your time, little by little. You can use the belt or hold onto the shin, the ankle, and breathing. And observing where you feel the stretch, maybe it's, maybe it's less on the leg and more in your back because your something is stuck in your back, no fluidity. And then slowly begin walking through the center, trying to stay as low as possible with your hips shifted towards the front, staying between the legs. Maybe you can go a little lower, maybe you can shift from side to side and breathing. And maybe you're moving closer towards your right thigh. Be careful with the knee. If the knee doesn't allow you to go deep, then that's fine. Inhale, slowly lift the torso up and now lift your right arm up and stretch towards the uh, left side, but try not to lean forward. Lean to the left and find this volume coming from this hip bone into your belly and your lower back, into the ribs.
Inhale and slowly rise up and lift your left arm up, gaze up towards the ceiling and lean to the left. Engage the core, inhale, slowly rise up and lean more towards the left glute. Just really let go any tension at the front of your uh, right thigh and carefully unbend your right knee, relax the foot and carefully, really carefully relax your right knee and lower the foot down and you're just sending your left foot to step outside of your right thigh and now you're giving space for your left sit bone to lower down towards the floor and you're lifting through the heart and closing the gap between your belly and your left thigh gently using your uh, arms trying to relax your right thigh towards the mat and maybe this is enough, this is enough for you, you feel enough stretch in your hip. If you wish, you can add a little twist. You can hook the elbow if you wish. Inhale. Create volume, exhale, relax. And maybe if you have a little space, you can do a little twist. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And you lift your left foot and bring the foot to the crease of your elbow or just hold onto the foot and try to uh, bring it closer towards the chest with your spine tall or bring the foot to the crease of the elbow and find your ba rocking baby. Breathe, flex the foot. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. Lower the foot down and now just lean towards the knees, stack the knees, open the feet wide and send the hips back. And observe how it feels. Maybe one side feels more uh, intense or easier than the other. And try to elongate the spine, grow through the crown of the head up and relax your shoulders. And maybe this is enough for you. If it's too intense, you can add a little moves and breathe through the tight areas. And now lower your right palm down to the floor and lift your left arm up. Try to breathe into your side body tight hip. Try to keep your left sit bone on the mat. Inhale, slowly rise up and switch sides. This will be a little more intense. Lower your left palm down. Press through your right sit bone into the mat and then elongate through the right side and find volume and reach the elbow up and then your palms to the up and slightly to the front. Maybe lower your left elbow down. And where you feel the stretch, observe. Inhale, slowly rising up. Lean forward to your knees. And now just uh, shift the hips back slightly, take a moment, and you can just play with moving the hips from side to side or making circles with the hips and maybe changing the direction. And return to seated and just prepare to transition into a double pigeon. So your front, your right shin is parallel to the front of the mat, trying to flex the foot. And bringing your left ankle on top of the right and focusing on shifting. You can help yourself to move the glutes away to the back. Spread the weight evenly between your sit bones. You can do a little massage first. 
and begin focusing on hinging from your hips, sending your uh, tailbone back and the hip bones to the front and maybe you will feel a lot right away and you just stay here and breathe and breathe into those areas. Try to create volume in your lower back and your outer hips. And exhale, relax. And maybe little by little, you can start folding down. Try to elongate through your lower back, sending your sit bones back. And if you wish to exhale through your mouth, you can do so. Letting go any tension. And when you're ready, inhale, slowly rising up and maybe slightly leaning back, releasing and carefully creating the windshield wiper smooth, leaning back. And relax your ankles. And from here, transition to sit on your knees, stretch the soles of the feet for a moment. You can move the knees in, in, in towards the toes, sending the heels back. And from here, uncurl the toes. And if you um, are really tight in your quadriceps, use the block under the hips or especially if the knees are like bad uh, and it's hard for you to keep the knees outside of the hips and uh, lower the knees down. Bringing your thighs in and taking it your time. Maybe it just needs your time to sink. Maybe your calf muscles are on your way. You can try to roll them out. Breathe. And transition towards the elbows. And if this is enough, stay here. Sometimes you don't feel anything right away and you stay here for a couple of breaths and you start feeling things. Especially if you try to shift your pubic bone up, you will feel your quadriceps engaging closer towards the knees. You can play with that. Maybe you can lower down towards the shoulders and the back of your head. Just be careful with the knees, you don't have to do it. It doesn't mean you're a bad yogi if you're not able to do it. And breathe into your back body, into your belly. And try to relax your quads. Maybe the front of the hips or your deep psoas muscles. And carefully begin transitioning back towards the elbows and taking your time, relaxing your low back. Maybe you feel something in your low back. Extending the arms carefully, staying here. Breathe into your lower back. Again, you can slowly shift from side to side as you rise up carefully and help yourself with the palms to lift up. Maybe lean forward 
a little bit and bring your feet together maybe bring the knees together if they are open and press the palms into the mat lift the knees and hips stretch the tops of the feet you can pulse here down and down and lower the knees down and rest in your child's pose or your shavasana if you have time for full shavasana observing how you feel letting go any tension in your muscles sometimes after having uh, deep hip stretches you feel some like something stuck in your chest or your throat you can take a deep inhale and you can sigh or exhale loudly and let it all go leave your body go away <sighs> inhale <sighs> and one more time inhale <sighs> Now lift the torso up, curl the toes, and transition uh, towards the heels, lifting the hips, relaxing your knees. You can let your head be heavy, upper body be heavy. And then when you're ready, inhale. And exhale, scoop your pubic bone forward and up towards the lower ribs and begin extending your spine, sending your calf muscles back, taking the knees over the heels, hips over the knees, taking your vertebras one on top of the other really slowly, shoulders over the hips, focus on your third eye, and align the crown of the head over the spine. And take a moment to observe how you feel. Thank you guys for joining me for this quick hips uh, flexibility routine. If you don't have time for a full rounded yoga practice, uh, you need uh, to ease some tension in your hips, your legs, your hip flexors after maybe riding all day or sitting at the office desk or maybe running a lot or being on your plane. I think this is a perfect routine to uh, release any tension in your hips and feel really good and <sighs> grounded after this class especially if you are like doing some traveling or something going on like you're building up lots of tension and we are tensing up we are tensing up in our diaphragm we are rounding our back and we are doing this and then maybe we forget about our stresses but we stay like this we stay like this all tensed up and in order to let it all go, we need to do those stretches. So I hope you enjoy them. Share with the friends, even if they are not yogis, I'm sure they will benefit from these stretches. If they are athletes or like to go to the gym, it will be perfect for everybody, men and women, until we practice again. Namaste.